Hi friends, this lecture is in continuation with the previous one in which I shared how to find number of divisors and suppose we have a composite number n. In order to find the number of divisors of n, we do the prime factorization of n and here is a prime factorization n equals to p1 raised to power alpha 1 into p2 raised to power alpha 2 up to pk raised to power alpha k. Suppose I need to find the number of divisors of a number n, what will I do? I will multiply the powers after adding 1 in each power. So alpha 1 plus 1 times alpha 2 plus 1 times up to alpha k plus 1. Now I got so many queries that why does this formula work or just justification for the formula. So in this lecture I am going to give the justification that why does this method work. So let's start again with an example and let's write prime factorization of 12 is 2 raised to power 2 times 3 raised to power 1. Now in this case if I ask you how many factors or divisors does 2 raised to power 2 have. So 2 raised to power 2 has 3 divisors and these are 2 raised to power 0, 2 raised to power 1, 2 raised to power 2. So 2 raised to power 2 has total 3 divisors. Similarly, the divisors of 3 raised to power 1 are 3 raised to power 0 and 3 raised to power 1. So total number of divisors of 3 raised to power 1 are 2. Now let's discuss the number of divisors of 12. The first divisor of 12 will be 2 raised to power 0 times 3 raised to power 0. 2 raised to power 0 times 3 raised to power 0. If I calculate, I will get equal to 1. Next divisor of 12 is 2 raised to power 0 times 3 raised to power 1 and this equals to 3. Next divisor is 2 raised to power 1 times 3 raised to power 0 and which is equal to 2. So it means from set 1 and set 2, all the ordered pairs, whichever I can find, the product of those ordered pairs will give me the divisors of 12. So rest of the three divisors can be calculated as 2 raised to power 1 times 3 raised to power 1, 2 raised to power 2 times 3 raised to power 0, 2 raised to power 2 times 3 raised to power 1. And these three divisors are equal to, after calculating, will be equal to 6, 4 and 12 respectively. It means the total number of divisors of 12 will be equal to product of all the ordered pairs. Means the number of ordered pairs which I can get, the total number of ordered pairs which I can get will be 3 times 2, that is 6. So the number of divisors of 12 will be equal to 6 and this 3, the first 3 is 1 greater than the power of 2 and 2 is 1 greater than the power of 3 which is 1 and the formula which I discussed in the last lecture will hold true and we will get the number of divisors equal to 2 plus 1 times 1 plus 1 equals 6. Now let's take the next example and next example is the prime factorization of 90. Prime factorization of 90 is 2 raised to power 1 times 3 raised to power 2 times 5 raised to power 1. Now how many factors does 2 raised to power 1 has? 2 raised to power 1 has total two factors and these are 2 raised to power 0 and 2 raised to power 1. 3 raised to power 2 will have 3 divisors or 3 factors and these are 3 raised to power 0, 3 raised to power 1 and 3 raised to power 2. So total are 3. 5 raised to power 1 will have 5 raised to power 0 and 5 raised to power 1 as divisors and these are 2 in number. And again, if I want to find the number of divisors of a number 90, now I will again form all the combinations which are possible in these from these three sets. So the first two divisors will be equal to 2 raised to power 0 times 3 raised to power 0 into 5 raised to power 0 and 2 raised to power 0 times 3 raised to power 0 times 5 raised to power 1. These are first two divisors of 90 and after calculating, solving, we will get 1 and 5 are the first two divisors of number 90. Similarly, rest of the divisors can be calculated 2 raised to power 0 times 3 raised to power 1 times 5 raised to power 0 and next one, fourth one will be 2 raised to power 0 times 3 raised to power 1 times 5 raised to power 1 and here are these two numbers 3 and 15. Similarly, by, we can find next two and these will be 9 and 45 respectively. Now, by taking uh, all the combination with 2 raised to the power 1, I will get 6 more combinations 
and the devices will be 2, 10, 6, 30, 18 and 19. So the number of devices in this case will be equal to 2 times 3 times 2 and 2 is 1 greater than the power of 2, uh, 3 is 1 more than the power of 3 and 2 is 1 more than the power of 5 and the formula again holds true number of devices of 30 will be equal to 1 plus 1 times 2 plus 1 times 1 plus 1 which is equal to 12 and if I generalize it for any composite number P so the prime factorization of any composite number P is given by P1 raised to power alpha 1 times P2 raised to power alpha 2 up to PK raised to power alpha K where P1, P2 up to PK are the prime factors and alpha 1, alpha 2 up to alpha K are their respective powers. And if we talk about the divisors of P1 raised to power alpha 1, P1 raised to power alpha 1 will have these divisors. The first one will be P1 raised to power 0, second will be P1 raised to power 1 and will be up to P1 raised to power alpha 1. And the number of devices will be alpha 1 plus 1, that is 1 more than the power of P1. The devices of P2 raised to power alpha 2 are as follows. P2 raised to power 0, P2 raised to power 1, up to P2 raised to power alpha 2. And the number of devices will again be 1 greater than the power of P2, that is alpha 2 plus 1. If we talk about the last prime factor PK, the devices of PK raised to power alpha K will be pk raised to power 0, pk raised to power 1, up to pk raised to power alpha k. So the number of devices will again be 1 greater than the power of p pk. And uh, the number of devices are alpha k plus 1. And the devices are 1 more than the power. You can see all the devices. And if we want to calculate the devices of p, number of devices of p, we need to multiply all these numbers that is alpha 1 plus 1 times alpha 2 plus 1 times alpha k plus 1. Hence, the number of divisors of any, any composite number p is given by this formula alpha 1 plus 1, alpha 2 plus 1 up to alpha k plus 1 means product of powers after adding 1 in them respectively. So this is the justification why that formula works. In the next video, we'll talk about some of divisors. Friends, if you like the video, click on like button and subscribe in order to see more videos. Thank you and have a nice day.